What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we started the Mursan Cave, battled a few people, talked about a few things, and, well, now we're back here. Now, off-screen, I did do a little bit of capturing. As you can see, I got myself two new Pokemon. One being Moonlight, the Clefairy. And the other one being... Hold on just a sec. Okay, so there's Clefairy. And here we have Zoro, the Volpix. Now, this was all a surprise to me because off-screen I did went... I did go back to my mom's place to heal myself. Uh, and then, you know, I had, the, I had the craziest idea. You know what? Maybe I should sell that rare candy to buy more Pokeballs. And I did. So... I think that's the point of having the rare candy, is if you don't get enough money here, you can just, you know, sell that rare candy. I mean, I can always level up my Pokemon. It's always fun. It's whatever. So, let's continue on our adventure right here. So, here we are into the next room right here. And, well, for me, I, like, like I said, guys, I'm going in blindly because... Holy crud. Okay, so here we have a slow poke. This is new. So like I was saying, I'm going in blindly, don't know exactly what Pokemon are going to be showcased in here. Uh, it was a surprise to me. Holy crud, okay, so that was probably the worst idea I could ever do. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Holy crud, okay, nope, wrong one. Um, going in blindly, and all these Pokemon are a surprise to me. As you can see, Slowpoke is kicking my Pokemon's butt right now, and I kind of want to capture it. The only problem is that I won't have access to a PC in after I get out of this cave. And, well, as you can see, this slowpoke is kicking my butt real hard. So there goes Mudball. And, well, let's go ahead and put a moon, a Moonlight in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy, get ourselves some more Pokemon right here. So let's go with a Pokeball right here. There it is. There it is. Okay, alrighty. So we got ourselves a Slowpoke. Unfortunately, we can't even use it right now. As you can see, Slowpoke, the dopey Pokemon. Incredibly slow and dopey. It takes five seconds for it to feel pain in any under, uh, under if it's under attack. And yes, I do want to name it something. The description said it itself, so let's go ahead and call this guy Dopey. Kind of sucks to name the Pokemon that, but you know what? It's whatever. Now, the only reason I'm nicknaming all my Pokemon is because I don't know what Pokemon team I will have. Uh, as you probably already noticed, I have Zoro on my team. And that is a Pokemon that, well, I, I, I've captured in the past and never quite used. And more likely, I might be using this Pokemon. And, well, there's a lot of Zubats in here that I've already don't want none, nothing from. So let's go ahead and just get the heck out of here. I know I have a repel. I kind of don't want to use it right now because I don't know if we're in the stretch of this thing. Okay, alrighty, okay. You know, it sure would be nice if, you know, Sunny would learn uh, Vine Whip or something like that. I don't know, I'm just saying, and... Oh, okay, so... <laughs> My Pokemon got healed! Never mind! Okay, so that's a, that's a damn nice addition! I didn't know that! Okay! Alrighty, so the reactions are real and everything's good. Okay, so my Pokemon are ready to go. Kind of feel like I wasted some time going back and down and all that stuff. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Just got to remember that purified zone. Here we are going to be finding a lot of Clefairy. And, well, let's go ahead and just move on forward. Let's see, we're right here. Thankfully, the creators of this game have uh, has, have added a, uh, a well... A B button run, so this won't be as slow as possible and everything. And well, let's see. There's another stairs, and we're getting attacked by this guy. I like meeting people here. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so here we go, taking on a hiker, and uh, wow, this is odd. Coming out with a Rattata. Okay, so let's go ahead and just destroy this guy. And that right there was kind of scary. Okay, critical hit ourselves. Let's go with another, uh, well, another uh, tackle attack. Again, it would be useful to you have a Vine Whip attack or anything. But no, no, you know. And here we go. Tackle attack yet again. And this nearly defeats the Rattata. And... Oh, crud! Okay, so... Yeah, we are on the ropes right here. And there is a level 10 Sunny, which is great. And is finally learning Vine Whip. Thank you. And here comes a Spearow. That is not good. So let's go with Dude right here. 
Yeah, that's right. I got a Geodude. You won't do anything to it. Because it's a wrong type. It doesn't matter if you growl on me. I'll still hit you hard. You ever heard of, uh, you know, hit two birds with one stone? Well, there it is. That's the stone right there. Oh, yeah. You may be stronger than me, but my dude is, well, it's impenetrable against you. What kind of a, what kind of a hiker has a normal type Pokemon? I, I want to know that. I really do. Okay, so here comes another growl attack. This is probably going to be a, well, we, before we beat this guy right here. And that was a good critical hit. Here comes another growl. Right, here we go. Look at that. And dude has grown to level 7. And here comes a Radita. And, well, let's see. Kind of don't want to use... Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and use Mud Ball since it's probably faster than this guy. Maybe. Still at level 7. Let's go with the Scratch Attack. Nope, this Radita knows Quick Attack. And that right there is not good. Not good whatsoever. And here comes another Tail Whip Attack. You know, as of right now, it kind of feels like these Pokemon are a little bit tougher than the usual uh, Raditas and CRUD! Okay, alright, so I'm learning my lesson, let's go back to Dude. See, always have a defense, a good defense, and here comes a quick attack. Critical hit, but not so effective, let's go, con let's just continue the tackle onslaught. And that is just 1 HP, and look at this, yes, we're kicking Raditas' butt, so Right now, dude is showing that it is a dude. It's actually uh, working for us. And looking at Radita defeated. Dude grows to level 8. And say goodbye to Hacker. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, let's move on right here. Um, we're running. We're running. We're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. And, of course, there's a Geodude right here. So, anywho, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to have to say this again. I know that there is a colored version of this game. If you guys do know where to find the colored version or how to make this, uh, how to show the colors on here, just comment down below. Uh, throw a link of how to do it. It doesn't really matter. It would be greatly appreciated, guys. And, well, we're going towards the edge right here. And I know that there's an item. There it is. Look at that. We found ourselves another potion, which is great. And, well, we're going to be attacked by a Pokemon trainer. There's no way around it. We're just going to have to go right through the man right there. And, well, here comes Sunny, the Bulbasaur right here. So we're doing we're doing all right. It's just crud baskets. Okay. Yo, dude. What's up? Kind of feels like we're in the 90s. And here we have Super Nerd. And Super Nerd kind of comes out with a Pokemon I like. All right, Sunny. Time to do it. Let's go with a Vine Whip. Look at us. Vine Whip attack takes care of dude. Oh, yes. Okay. All righty. And, well, this, we're going to make quick work of this guy right here. Look at this. Okay, let's go. Vine Whip Attack for the win. What now? Say goodbye to Geodude. Okay, all right. And there we go. Geodude, or Sunny, has grown at level 11. Okay. So far, the experience is going well. I think. I hope. I would hope so. And here we have another Geodude. Don't want to mess with you right now. And... I kind of want to, I kind of want to risk it. There is a person right there of interest, and I kind of want to use Zoro right here, just because, you know, these girls have uh, plant Pokemon and all that stuff. Oh no! I'm all alone with you. What will we do? I don't know. I really don't know. So here we go, we'll take it on a last, and she is coming out with a Clefairy. So now, I think this is a Clefairy that makes you go to sleep. So let's go with an Ember Attack, and that will take away our attack right there, but here comes an Ember Attack. Critical hit. The goal is to try and burn this Pokemon, and right now, we are not winning this whole thing. Come on! Let's go, Zoro. No, it's not burnt. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out to Dude right here. Now, I'm already, I'm starting to get a feel of what Pokemon I need to keep, and what Pokemon I just put away. Obviously, uh, it's going to be a little difficult to, to to train a full team at this at this rate right now. So here we go with another pound, and wow, this Clefairy is kicking our butt right now. Holy crud! Okay, okay, Clefairy, let's see what you're doing. There's a tackle attack. Let's get an item right here and save our good old buddy, dude. Alrighty, so 
Yeah, it's gonna take more than just growls and pounds to beat us, okay? I'm just saying. So here we go, tackle attack, and here comes a pound attack. That's like a better version of tackle, I think. And... come on! Jeebus, criminy. Okay. And... come on, dude. Let's go with the tackle. Finisher! Or him, or I don't even know, and... Oh, crud. Yeah, we're chopping. We are chopping wood right now, and uh, so far, nothing's going right right here. Look at this. Okay, one more, one more. Come on. Just give me one more. One more. And then there you go. Clefairy has been defeated. Zoro grows to level 5. Dude, yes. Okay, okay, alright, so... Let's see, what does this say? Mersan Cave. Route 54 is up ahead. Okay, so we're close, and gravy! Another Pokemon, and another trainer. Do not want to mess with you right now. Let's just, uh, not... Actually, let's go ahead and use a potion on Zoro. Zoro, dude, and Sonya right now are looking like my, my guys to keep on my team, so... I know that Zoro hasn't done anything yet, but I kind of just want to use a Ninetales or something like that. Hey! Want to play? Yes, I do. Okay, so here we have a Bug Catcher, and yes, I chose correctly. He's coming out with a Bug Tap Pokemon, so let's go ahead and just destroy him with Ember. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Look at that. Ember attack does its thing. And... Well... You were just going to have to, you know... We're going to have to deal with the string shot because we are slower, but that's fine. It's a critical hit. It does its uh, job right there. And, well, Zoro grows to level 6. Yes, sir. Look at that. And he's going to be coming out with another Weedle. So let's go right ahead and take on this challenge. Now, do not worry, guys. Yes, I did buy myself an extra antidote just in case. I was kind of figuring, I was kind of figuring that I might get poisoned maybe multiple times around this time. And, well, our speed keeps on falling, but we keep on burning. Look at that. Weedle defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so we're doing... I think we're doing a bang-up job. So let's go straight back to our good old buddy, Sunny, right here. And please tell me we are at the, at the very end. I want it to be at the very end. I don't know if it's at the very end. Oh, there's an item. Look at this. We have found ourselves a TM-34. What could that be? TM-34, booted up, and it is Bide. Okay, so we're not teaching that to our Pokemon right here. Bide is, as many of you guys already know, Bide is uh, an attack if that builds up, or stores up energy each time you get hit. So let's go right ahead and see if we can get to the city before then, okay? So let's see, I don't even think that's a trainer or something. Let's see, oh, it is a trainer. You just made it out of the cave! Mm-hmm. It's a miracle. Okay, so here we go. Another super nerd ready to battle and crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. We're taking on a spear of crap baskets. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go to dude right here. So we're, we're, we're facing a lot of, you know, flying type Pokemon, normal type Pokemon, and yes, the peck has, uh, well, has defended us greatly. Okay, here we go. Tackle attack yet again. We're just going to continue doing this, and, it, well, it looks like we're just going to keep on getting hit by a peck attack right here. This guy, at some point, is going to growl at us again. Come on, dude. Finish it. Now, I could teach dude bite attack, because, oh, yeah, it keeps on getting hit. It's a very defensive Pokemon. It could prove useful. Yeah, I just thought about that. Holy crud. Okay, and, oh, no, that could have beaten it. Never mind, and here we go. Tackle attack for the win. Say goodbye. Okay, alrighty. And the dude grows to level 9 right there. And here comes a Paris. So let's go right ahead and use Zoro right here. So, it turns out that I do have three Pokemon. Wish I could have captured this Pokemon uh, on screen, but, eh, well, it is what it is. So there we go. Another super effective move. And, well, there's a scratch attack, so that's that's, that's, that's kind of painful right there. And, well, look at that. Paris has been defeated. And Zoro grows to level 7, which is great. And is learning quick attack. Oh, yes. Okay. And here comes a, well, a Geodude. 
Let's go back to Sunny, the Bulbasaur right here. Okay, so we're getting some redemptions right here. I have yet to see any kind of a Johto Pokemon, but it is fine, it's fine. And look at this. Oh yes, Vine Whip for the win. No Rock-type Pokemon is going to defeat us now like that. Okay, and look at that. Okay, so we're progressing. We're doing good things. All right. And there is grass here. Crap baskets. Okay. I'm going to go in the grass. And it looks like there's more trainers. Okay. Uh, it looks like we got a lot of stuff coming up. So we're going to pause right here, guys. Uh, yeah, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, hopefully we'll get into the next town. Uh, and again, if you guys know of a way to get the color onto this thing, just comment down below, and I'll more—I'll be more than happy to like actually show this in color. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next.